Morning Now, Washington Mornings on the Mall. At AM 630. 837 on WMAL. Brian Wilson, Brian Neiman, have you got the cap fever? Mr. Neiman, have you got it? I'm ready for a game tonight. Uh, I tell to play you, right now, as a matter of fact. The series is tied at two against the Rangers, and we have on the line from your Washington Capitals, Matt Hendricks. Matt, how are you? Good to have you here on WMAL. I'm doing great, guys. Thanks for having me. Well, listen, uh, I, I, this has been a tough series. I mean, these are two very evenly matched teams, and and it's been gut check hockey. Yeah, it has without a doubt. It's been uh, very close, very tight, and uh, series is tied up now. All right, so tell me, tell me how how the team is feeling right now as they prepare for this game tonight. Well, we're excited. This is a, a big one. Every time you go on the road and get a chance to play it. Madison Square Garden in front of New York's finest. It's uh, it's, a, it's a big night. It's a good night. So uh, we look forward to this one. We want to bring uh, the series lead back to Washington. Okay. Game five is obviously the looks at game five, especially when inside two two as as a pivotal game because if you win, you're only one win away, and the other team has to win two straight. So is there extra pressure on this game? Extra incentive to get a W on the road tonight? Well, I think there is, but at uh, the same time, we're not. We don't want to look at it that way. We want to try and just uh, stick to our game plan, play the same way that we have. And uh, if, we, if we do that, and and we, uh, you know, put the back of the puck in the back of the net when we get our opportunities, we we feel we have a good chance to win. You guys blocked twenty six shots the other night. Wow! Only twenty shots got on goal. Um, is there something to that? Does it just happen? Is it something that you practice? Is it something you put an emphasis on? I mean, 26 shots blocked is an incredible number for a hockey team. Yeah, you know, it's it's a timing thing, and it can take a little practice. But for the most part, it's just a commitment. It's a commitment from the guys to, to stand in front of the puck for, for the better of the team, for the better of our goalie. So you are known for your big hits. And, uh, and that was uh, definitely on display in that uh, game that uh, sadly turned out to be a loss, but it was a heck of a game. Triple overtime, you had 11 hits, six shots on net. Uh, it, it became, it, and when you get down to this part of the season, it gets extremely physical, even more so than normal, don't you think? Yeah, it, it does. You know, any time you get a chance to finish your check on somebody, you want to do it. You want to try and tire them out, you know, take them out of the game any way you can, and and for me, that's part of my game, being physical. I want to wear down their defensemen, and I want to make it very difficult for them to find get into the scoring areas. When it comes into playoff hockey time, goals are such at a premium. And in this series and then the previous series with the Bruins, I mean, it seems like every game is a one-goal game, and there are very few high-scoring games. So when it gets to that, you have to capitalize on all the chances that you get, if you can get a good scoring chance. I'm wondering what it's like on the ice if if the other team scores first or you get that goal, the difference in the mentality that you have for the rest of the game. Well, it, it's been very tight-checking, especially for, for us throughout the playoffs. And that first goal is big because it gives you that momentum. It gives you that you know a little bit of that cushion, a little bit of comfort that, Okay, we've done. We need to protect this lead. At the same time, when you're going up against a goalie like uh, Lundqvist, you have to put your second and third opportunities away. You can't give him opportunities to make those rebound saves. So when you have the chances, you got to put him in the back of the net. All right, and your goalie, Braden Holpe, has been incredible. But tell the truth. I mean, when he was coming up, did you expect him to play this well this early in his career and be such a catalyst for the Capitals right now? Well. I said it before, and I thought last season when he came up and played some big games for us that that he was a good goalie. That his work ethic and his maturity level were above, you know, 22 years of age. And I think he's done an outstanding job for us, and, and I'm, I'm happy to see it, the success for him. So uh, we hear that hockey players are notoriously sort of uh, superstitious. superstitious bunch. Do you have any game day rituals or superstitions that you uh, you play into? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I try not to. But I think one of my my superstitions is not to be superstitious. I just try to to be a you know kind of have habits that I do and and. And do things that way. Once you once you get superstitious, it can be 
it, it can become a lot of work on a game. Well, day. well, talk about your habits. What kind of things that you that, that you know? That, do you do the same kind of workout every day? Make it a, yeah a ritual. I try to you know I, I have the same routine. Just try to go through the same routine every day, which means the same foods. You know the same routine when it comes to stretching and focusing and getting prepared for the game. So what is your routine today? And a lot of fans are sitting here going, man, can we just fast forward to tonight and play the game? How is it for you? What do you do all day long? You're already up. It's 830 in the morning. So what is your your day like today? Well, for me, it's going to be, uh, once I get done talking with you, I'm going to go down and have breakfast with some of the guys. And then uh, it'll be off to the rink, get ready for pregame skate, which will be at 1130. Come back to the hotel, have uh, lunch, then we'll lay down for a little bit, and then off to the game at, I'll be to Madison Square Garden at 4.30 and, and start my routine when it comes to my stretches and getting my sticks taped up, getting prepared for the game, and then ready to play. All right. Does it feel like it takes all forever? No, once you do it enough, you just kind of... Just it's another day, but... Just get into the drill. You know, the games are a lot more important. All right. Well, thanks for coming on the show this morning. Best of luck tonight yep. and uh, throughout the playoffs, okay? Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.